So you're gonna need potassium nitrate, sugar, and a coffee grinder. But my potassium nitrate has been sitting out, and yours probably has too, depending on what source you've got it from. So you're gonna need to heat it in some kind of oven for about 10 to 15 minutes at above the boiling point of water. I just chose 350 degrees because it is above the boiling point of water and below the melting point of potassium nitrate. Next, if you're dumb like me, you're gonna try to take out the tray of your hands. Ow! As you can see here, I have laid out the potassium nitrate so it dries evenly. Now this needs quite a bit of time to cool off because right now it is around 300 degrees. Oh, 200. Well, it's still hard as shit. All right, well that's cooling down. We're also gonna need some granulated diabetes. So we can't just mix them together in a cup because the granules are too big and it won't burn well. So here's this coffee grinder. Let's open it. There we go. Got our coffee grinder here. This is like the cheapest one I could find. It was like $8. It's pretty big. And we're just going to pour in a random amount of sugar since we can measure them after we grind them. Ooh, that sounds nice. Oh no. I forgot to get the moisture out of the sugar. I wonder if sugar absorbs moisture. All right, our potassium nitrate is about 100 degrees, so let's pour it in. And we might have to do two batches since I have a lot here. All right, we're gonna do 65 grams of the powdered potassium nitrate and about 35 of the sugar. There we go. And we are not going to put this back in the coffee grinder because it could catch fire in the coffee grinder. And although that's not the end of the world, uh, I don't want to buy a new coffee grinder. So let's mix it up. I'm going to do this for five minutes. All right, we mixed up the powder, but now we need the rocket engine casing. And we're just going to use PVC pipe. There we go. You're also going to need something that fits inside of the PVC pipe snugly. And I have no clue what this thing is, but it works. Let's get ourselves a brick and we're going to make one of the end plugs. And to make the end plug, you just need something that you can compress well, they won't budge, and I'm just using some concrete. I'm just gonna tap it in there for a hammer, then we're gonna use this random thing and flatten it at the bottom. There you go, there's an end plug. Next, we're gonna put our sugar and potassium nitrate powder into the rocket. And then we're gonna stamp it down. There you go, we can see it's almost up to the brim, and now we're just going to put another concrete layer. I'm going to be using this 964 drill bit to hand drill a small hole for the combustion chamber. Now we've got our hole, I'm going to insert a piece of fuse, and we're going to test it. And before we test this, we're going to test out the powder to make sure it burns correctly. Okay, I think that burns pretty well because I had to back up the camera so it didn't get burned. Alright, so when I lit the last one, I didn't realize the scale was off. So we didn't actually get a reading, and that sucks. So this one, I made it a little bit different. I put the combustion chamber through about 60% of the entire fuel. So this one should have a lot higher thrust than the last one. Whoa! That's so cool. Look at That was only 9 grams of fuel. I can't wait to see how much thrust that made. Whoa! So I just looked at the clip, and this thing produced almost 250 grams of thrust. Keep in mind this is a half inch PVC pipe, and that was only 7 grams of material. So I bet if I drill through the entire core of the fuel, I can push a pound of thrust out of one of these tiny rockets. That is super cool. You can also see that the nozzle got a lot bigger. So that means some of the cement got shot away when it burned. So I'm very tempted to scale this up to three-fourths of an inch pipe, or maybe even an inch pipe. But I'll have to see how the video does. So right now, I think it's time we put these on a stick and we shoot them off. So we're basically in the middle of a one square mile field and there's no houses for about two miles in any direction. And this is the smallest rocket I've made, and it just has a DIY stick. Um, very sturdy as you can see, and 
Yeah, let's test it. <laughs> Alright, we ran out of sticks, so we're gonna do one on the ground and see what it does. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> 